Namaste Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi Aries, my beautiful emperors, my empresses, my kings and queens. I love you guys, Aries. I'm back guys, I have another message for you guys. These are some channel messages here. My beautiful Aries, you guys are dealing with so much, Aries. We are dealing with all of this energy. People suddenly passing away on us. People just doing the most. People gang stalking us right now. People playing on our phones. Yeah. Aries, there's other tarot readers doing readings on, on, on us, Aries. Okay, this is what I'm getting. I wrote it down. So, you might be dealing with someone in your life or your situation. Well... I guess they want to know what is going on in your life. I guess they want to know um, if you're the truth. They want to know um, about your gifts. They want to know who you are, what you like, who you were in your past life. They want to go through your Akashic records. They want to um, try to tamper with your gifts. Aries, these people are getting readings on you. They're going to readers. So there's some tarot readers here in our community that are actually working with karmics um against the chosen ones against the um the aries so if you have a partner and they're connecting with a, another tarot reader against you guys um they're trying to um orchestrate things against you in your business they're trying to um dig up dirt on you guys to prove that you're not the truth to try to harm you guys somehow aries be careful because a lot of people are trying to come back in out of your in your life out of nowhere from the past and the reason why they're doing this is because they know um what's going to come for you guys they know you're about to get a fortune of wealth they know you're about to become suddenly famous or a celebrity or known celebrated admired and loved by so many people Ooh. and these people never validated you guys and these people never truly love you guys aries okay and this is why i'm telling you they're going to be trying to come back into your life, into your good graces. They're going to try to do whatever they can to try to gaslight you guys again, to try to um, hmm, destroy what you have going on. They want to attach to you again. Don't fall for this trick. Don't fall for it, Aries. Don't worry about dating. If you're going to date, make sure someone's like you. Make sure they match your energy. Make sure they're awakened. Make sure they, um, they know their calling and their purpose. At least make sure that um, they're not someone that did did the most to you guys in your situations because that person didn't change they're not changing even family members they're not changing they're just getting more strategic they're just trying to figure out how to really fool us the most right now so really what they're doing is they're trying to fool us aries i'm gonna read these messages past person who did the most is losing their mind yeah because you withdrew your energy and all the magic they played with or they paid for is just coming back to sender now. And they're losing their minds because they know you're moving forward. Because they know they lost you. Because they know the time has come for um, the judgment season. Yeah, and Aries, if you guys are working at a place, like I said, if you're working somewhere, you could have coworkers that are really trying to get you fired, really trying to set you up, really trying to gossip, really trying to do the most to give you a hard time at work, or trying to team up with other coworkers against you to get you fired somehow. These people are karmics, okay? And these people are being said to you guys to destroy your job or whatever you're doing. They're, you, they're, they're working with the Agent Smiths, Aries, so be careful, okay? Don't trust these people. And some of you guys, Aries, are going to be finding out about a Virgo and a Scorpio in your life. Heavy. The betrayal that these friends or family members or exes have done on you. It's like there's an ex working in cahoots with your family. There's family working in cahoots with your ex. There's... um. A family member that could be sleeping with your person or your ex. This is all happening, okay? Just remember that. Finding out a lot of stuff. Okay, and then I heard that this there's a Libra in your life, Aries. This Libra's plans are backfired. Hmm. This Libra plan to try to plan to destroy you or take your place. This Libra could be going to jail for something that they did against you. Using your information, hacking you, gang stalking you, doing the most. I don't know what they was doing, but... They was doing it, and there was a Libra involved. Okay, but you guys, Aries, are about to get a collaboration deal and a lot of money to work with someone else. 
Wow, getting a collaboration deal. Receiving a letter or a call about your inheritances. Yes, this is happening. It's going down. Okay, yes, it's going down. Meet me in the club. It's going down. Meet me in the club. It's going down. Yeah, that's what I just heard, that song. I don't know what that song is, but yeah. It's going down, Aries, okay? Don't fall for the, the, the deceitful past people trying to come in right now. Oh my gosh, my camera's crazy. Okay, sorry guys. Let's just get some general tarot for the Aries. Let's see what comes out for the general tarot. And then we'll get into the other decks and see what this energy has for you guys today. My beautiful kings and queens. I love you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying your beautiful day. You know, I hope you guys are doing these healing meditations. Transmutation of energy meditations. So you guys are not being um, consumed by all this energy that's going on around you. Because remember, Aries, this is not your karma, okay? This is not your karma. This is not your bad karma. You do, you guys don't have to literally feel sorry or help anyone that has done the most to keep you in this energy. You don't have to help no one that kept you in this energy with the Nine of Wands, holding all these wands, all these, the Ten of Wands, whatever this is right here. Yeah, you were never supposed to be carrying all these burdens at the end of the day, Aries. Because now someone else is in the Nine of Wands and they're going through this. They're going to have to carry these burdens that they try to put into your life. Okay, wow. Because the Most High is liberating you from these people. Because all they want to do is entertain um, gossip. And they want money, power, and control over your assets, over your funds, over your inheritance, over your life, over your purpose, over your gifts and your calling. This is total bullshit. They're not going to be able to do it. Look, they're all fighting amongst each other. They're all blaming each other. And now you're letting go of your burdens, and now they're um, over here fighting. Wow, can't make it up. Thank you, spirit. Give me the messages for the beautiful Aries watching this video, male or female. Yes, right away. Like I said, what did I say? Yeah, they're in the Nine of Wands, but this is the Nine of Swords, actually, I meant to say. They're in the Nine of Swords energy. Like I said, your, your ex-narcissist person, they're losing their freaking mind. This family member or Libra or Scorpio or... or, or Whatever, whatever sign they are. I heard Libra, Scorpio, and um, Virgo, okay? Even a Sagittarius could be involved, or a Pisces. But these people, they're in their head, okay? They're losing sleep because whatever they plan to um, affect you with, whatever plans they had to try to um, dig dirt up on your name, whatever plan they had to use your name to get some um, type of money or payout to try to fraudul use your information somehow, in a fraudulent way, now they're in their head. Because this is coming to the light with the moon card. This is Cancer Energy. Scorpio right here. Yeah. Everything that they covered up, that they thought was in the dark, that they thought wasn't coming to the light. Well, guess what? Look, Aries, it is. Because they know it. They know it. They know it's coming and they know they ran out of time to um, keep you guys stuck. Yeah. Like I said, you could be dealing with a Queen of Cups, a mother figure, okay? This Queen of Cups mother figure, or this could be a, a ex. It doesn't have to be a male. It could be a female or a male. This is this energy with the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> this person wanted to hold on to what was yours. This person wanted to uh, make you think that they had it all, that they were in power, that they were in control, that they um, can call um, judgment on you, or they could keep using this magic to bind you and keep you stuck with the witchy vibes, male or female. Well, this person ain't going to have their way. Because you're still going to get the Ace of Wands. You're still going to get this offer. You're still going to get this from the Most High. This has always been yours, um, my beautiful Aries, okay? Wow. And right here's the Chariot, okay? Because they've been trying to mess with your cars too. And the Most High saw that. What? The Most High saw that this person or these people hiding secrets were even tampering with some of your cars. This is not for everyone. Okay, because they were jealous and envious if you got yourself a new car. If you have a car, they were so they were so butthurt because you guys have a car. You're doing good now. They wanted to mess with something that was yours. Or they wanted to mess with your car. Or they just wanted to come in and try to um, harass you now. Or try to drive past your house and stalk you now. Gang stalk you now. Okay, but the chariot energy means that you're moving forward regardless of what they tried to do. Because the most high is in control of this beautiful blessing that's yours. Yeah. 
Yeah, because you don't want to keep um, going back and forth. You're fucking sick of it. You're so tired of it. Like, I just heard, like, I'm so tired of it. That's what I heard someone say. Like, I'm over it. You guys are so over it, Aries. You guys are evolving, transforming. And they want to play these freaking games when you're, when you're transforming. They want to play these games when you're about to receive your fortune. They want to play these games because they want to bring you back down to that lack mentality. They want to bring you back down to that low vibration. But you can't fall for this. You have to be stronger. You're a king. You're a queen. Crown yourselves. Take back your power. Get your mojo back. And fight these people off and stand your ground. Because the Most High is telling you that the whole time you have this Nine of Cups. And they wanted to have your Nine of Cups in reverse so all your blessings would just pour out and you would never have it. But the Most High has, has control of your Nine of Cups. Because now they're in this energy of the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Cups in reverse. But you're receiving your blessing. Yeah, because you guys are literally healing your heart. You're healing your heart from this king of pentacles. This could have been a father figure too. This could have been an ex or a father figure. Father of your child. Okay? Or does it have to be? This could be a friend, a father figure, a family member, whoever it is. This king of pentacles that did the most to try to stop your abundance. To try to mess with some paperwork. To try to hire, uh, hire a freaking um, crooked uh, lawyer to finagle some paperwork. But now they're in the, the three of swords because now they have to answer to this. Because this is yours. This was your empire. This was your birthright. They can no longer tamper with it. Okay? Because this is what's coming. And they're getting the messages. This, this king of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, is getting the messages. And that... You will no longer have to be in the te of the Three of Swords because the Most High is bringing you this abundance and they're going to have to answer to that. And somebody else is trying to hit you up from the past because they're trying to come in at all costs because they don't want to lose you now because now they see the bigger picture because now they know that you was the truth the whole time, that you um about to get your fortune. And be careful who you let back in your life right now, okay, my beautiful Aries, because that is important to know. You have to be careful who you let in your life right now. You can't trust everyone right now. What are they hiding, Spirit, from the Aries? Okay, what are they hiding? What are they hiding? Wow. Okay. They're hiding that they've been setting you up for family. They're hiding that they never um, was on your team. They're hiding that they always been taking information from you and going to someone in your family or, or several people in your family. It could have even been a sister. If you don't have a sister, this was someone that act like a sister. Or this could be your aunt, your mother's sister, regardless of what, your father's sister. There's a sister involved in trying to set you up for family, guys. So just be aware. Okay, guys, because this sister wanted to keep you guys stuck from a soulmate or from your love of your life. Or maybe they were just envious the whole time of your relationship. Or maybe they were just envious of you and keeping you stuck. And this is more than one person, believe me. Yeah, because they could have been working with your ex against you. Can't make it up. And your ex was working with family against you. So all these people are in cahoots. There's a lot of people involved right now. And they're all, like, stalking you, gang stalking you, peeping toms, trying to orchestrate the neighbors are freaking watching you trying to look in your windows weird ass neighbors the neighbor could be sleeping with your person or the neighbor could be a witch doing magic anything like that there's an aunt here that's mad shady i told you there's an aunt here that's really shady working with um an ex against you working with the agents in your family against you so don't let these people in your life don't even let them in your house they're trying to come over and leave their shadow in your house so their dark shadow could spy on you yeah they've been using your information aries yeah, and somebody that you're currently with been texting their ex. Somebody you've been talking to always texting their ex, always in cahoots with their ex in this karmic energy and has you in a third-party situation somehow, okay? And you need to release this ex. You need to release this these people. You need to move forward because there could be an uncle that has something that's information that you need to know about or an uncle that is involved somehow in this whole scenario or an uncle that could be even um, knowing some information about your father's could be involved as well, setting you up for family, hacking your devices and your computers. Wow. Insane. They, they need to quit because right now it's not conducive for them to be using any magic. It's backfiring on these people ASAP, okay? Because you're getting news about a new home or an inheritance. And you're going to you're gonna find out who these dark empaths are because they're losing their mind. They're going down. They could be, they could be, they could be losing their life suddenly in their sleep. So if you had a sister that passed away out of nowhere or passes away in her sleep, or, or your ex's sister, it could be a sister in your life, a sister figure, just know that person was doing death spells on you guys. That's why that happens. 
or anybody who passes away in your family, they could have been doing these things to you. Just remember that, okay? And um, it wasn't meant for you guys to go down like that because the Most High chose you guys for something special, Aries. And these people were tampering with, with fate, with destiny. You cannot tamper with fate or destiny. What the divine has for us is for us. Our purpose is for us. You can't mess with that, okay? And I'm going to make sure I do the numerology deck after this, okay, Aries? Because I know it's, it's like always getting cut off for some reason. I don't know. I just hate when that happens. Thank you, spirits and guides, for the beautiful messages, important messages for my beautiful Aries watching this video. Give me some messages from this deck, okay? From the Starseed, I mean, the Starseed, um, from the Matrix deck, spirit guides, please and thank you. Yeah, you guys are Starseeds, by the way. Yeah, and you guys have Archangel Michael protection because you're getting gang stalked right now by the Matrix. I can't make it up. The Matrix is gang stalking you, these agents, these family members, these fake friends and lovers, because um, you are chosen, and Archangel Michael's right behind these people, right behind you. They're, Archangel Michael does not leave you guys alone. They're, my Archangel Michael's protecting us, Starseeds. Okay, my beautiful Aries, I love you so much. Don't worry about it, Aries. You are good enough. You are beautiful. You are wise. You are in your purpose. You are being directed. You are going to be abundant and blessed. Don't worry. Don't listen to them. They're just lying. They just want you to think that something's wrong with you. They want you to think that's that, that you're not worthy of this or you're not good enough. I'm sorry, Aries, but these people are going to have to reap what they sow. That's all I got to say because they're going to be left out in the cold. They're going to have to lose things. They're going to have to suffer the consequence of everything they put you through. Yes, and you guys are having a major crown activation right now. Crown chakra activation, giving you all these messages, letting you know who these people are. Okay, Aries, you're okay. My loves, we're doing this together. No, no matter what, we're going to make it. No matter what, we're going to ascend. We're going to get in our callings. You just have to be aware to keep these people away from your life, okay? Because they stole your inheritance. They try to steal your inheritance. And now Archangel Michael's rectifying the situation and making things right. This is the time of abundance. This is the time where we rise up like the phoenix out the ashes. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, and these confessions are going to be coming to you. Because spirit owl knows. Your spirit owl knows. And your spirit owl sees all. And all these confessions are coming in your life, guys. Okay, so be prepared, my loves. Wow, yeah, yeah, all of you guys having weird vivid dreams, okay, put your crystals under your pillows, put a stone, a, a powerful stone under your pillows to protect you in your dreams, because some of you guys are actually dreaming about past people trying to come in or, or argue with you, this is a spiritual attack in your dreams, you need a spiritual bath, you need to do um, a meditation for transmutation of energies, to, re to um, remove this um, attack from you guys. Or if you're having weird, vivid dreams, you could be also dreaming about your past lives. You could be dreaming about your past life, okay? And the Most High is showing you that you came from these past lives to come into this earth to break a generational curse, okay, for your ancestors. Wow, yeah, and the reptilian agenda is, stop is trying to stop you guys. These green people, these green guys, these reptiles, these freaking um, lizard people, they're, tr they're trying to orchestrate things to happen, towers, moments, things not to go your way. They're trying to bring you bad energy, send you bad frequencies, give you bad thoughts. This person around you that's working with this reptilian agenda of power and control and greed and lust, yeah, they're being taken out of the earth. They're being shifted out, okay, Aries? This, the earth is increasing. People are awakening. Just yesterday, I seen a video posted live of everybody in New York, okay, in the state of New York, they're all protesting on the streets, and they're all saying, wake up, New York, wake up, New York, wake up, okay, so a mass awakening has happened, go on YouTube and search for the video of New York um, protesting yesterday, and you might see all these people walking in the streets, chanting, wake up, New York, they're fed up, the, the people are fighting back, the chosen ones are rising, they're rising all over the world, just so you guys know. Becoming vegan, eating healthy, eating or having a healthier diet, and focusing on um, avoiding these people's confusion spells is going to help you guys at this time, my beautiful Aries, okay? Yes, let's get your numerology messages, okay, before I end this video, because I have a lot of personals to get done today, but I'm always going to make time for you, my beautiful fire signs, my, qu my kings, my queens. I love you guys. I love your comments. I love your energy. I love your support on my channel. 
And yes, um, I love reading for you guys and bringing you guys the, the channel messages every time I get them. Okay, also Aries, I was hearing this song for you guys and the water signs yesterday. I got this for the water signs and I'm getting this for you guys. Somebody feels like you still belong to them, like they can't release you, like they don't care who you're with, you're still theirs, that young blue songs, you're still mine. Okay, I don't remember how that song goes right now, I don't got it in my head, but the young blue song, it's called um, You're Still Mine, someone's really obsessed, they don't want to let you go. Okay, wow, 838, success, strength, and changes. Okay, with the number 838, my loves, you're having success, okay? You're growing and you're having um, courage to make yourself successful, okay? Keep doing that. Number 717, my beautiful Aries, new beginnings and opportunities are coming to your life now as we speak. That's a beautiful number if you're seeing this number. It means that new opportunities are coming, new beginnings. You're being shifted into your right path. New doors of opportunities. Wow. 131, I love this number, guys, because you're being true to yourself. You're loving yourselves wholeheartedly. You guys are um, really, really focusing on what's important for you, okay? You guys are really putting in those spiritual work, okay? You're transforming being true to yourself okay not accepting no no offers that are not conducive you're not accepting no one that's not true and real you guys are being really true to yourselves right now my beautiful aries yes stay strong you're connecting with the angels okay wow strong connection with the angels number 444 in your situation you're surrounded by all the angels a strong connection you are actually working with the angels you could be an earth angel on this earth doing god's work as healers, as prophets, as empaths, as light workers, three two three is a very powerful number, guys. Okay, and the last number for you guys at the bottom of this deck, I love this number the most. This is beautiful. Manifesting abundance and success once again, number eight oh eight. If you're seeing this number, this message is for you. Confirmation that you are manifesting your abundance, that you are working with the angels. Yes, that you are having life changes for the better. Five two five. Wow. Beautiful messages with the numerology cards, with the numbers, new beginnings and opportunities. All these numbers are really, really synchronistic to your reading, guys. Okay, so that's just confirmation of what I already told you guys. I can't make it up. Get ready for your abundant seasons. Get ready to shine bright like a diamond. Get ready to grow like never before and shift out of this dimension because we're shifting into the fifth dimension and we're going to the new timeline. Okay, I love you guys, Aries, so much. Until the next time I come back on for your message. Mwah. Namaste.